don't carry before you marry every woman's desire is to experience a full marriage it's like a covenant <laughs> hello there my loves welcome back to my youtube channel my name is diana and over here i talk about all things self-improvement if you like this kind of video if you haven't subscribed yet kindly subscribe and hit that like button and let's begin today i want us to talk about your life in your 30s is it a must you get married is it a must you have a baby if you're not planning to get married so let's discuss must you really get pregnant before 30 must you be married before 30 do you feel like you your life without the society that you are ready to get married or you're ready to have a baby yet because from my point of view the patriarchy and the society have like really really taken over our lives in such a way they are the ones to dictate how we're gonna live our life example if you're in your 30s or you're approaching your 30s you find that the patriarchy is like literally dictating your life in this angle you you even you yourself you start feeling like you're not worthy enough why uh, into your relationship becoming fruitious when it comes to relationships or you feel like you need to have a baby before you're even married so that because the biological clock but I'm really loving this feminine journey whereby most of the women in the whole world come to realize about their worth. Most women right now, they don't settle for less. They won't just be in a relationship for the sake of they can see a future whereby they end up getting married and sometimes they're not even happy in that relationship or they'll end up having a baby because the biological clock according to the patriarchy you're supposed to be having a kid uh, at the age of 25 or even before the age of 25 or before you get into your 30s but i've come to realize like me personally i mean almost in my 30s hmm? but i've come to realize that the society throughout the past five years have like really really made me feel some type of way when it comes to marriage and uh having kids in your early stages first of all personally the reason to why i'm not married first of all i haven't found a partner that i really want to share my future with secondly the reason to why i don't have a kid yet it's because i believe in a family i will not engage in any baby mama dramas or baby mama kind of life don't carry before you marry god likes a complete family every woman's desire is to experience a full marriage it's like a covenant even in the old days people were getting married when uh 16 years old but to a full provider a man who was seen in the society as a full provider who you can have a whole family with but right now people in relationship i can see 19 year olds 18 year olds having babies and becoming baby mamas to younger guys of 2021 like what have we done in this society like we are like really to tolerating such kind of lifestyle i do not believe in babies out of wedlock unless there's a circumstance whereby yes people get pregnant like without planning and i know there are circumstances that you just have to like accept because anyway people nowadays engage in having sex before marriage and uh people have normalized that but please young girls like cautious when you're having sex like take accountability and take care of yourself i don't want to see i am tired of seeing young girls in their teenage years and in your, their early 20s becoming baby mamas before becoming wives like what do you know about raising a child first of all just for the sake of keeping a relationship because sometimes there's 
there's this toxicity in the relationship whereby you have you want to trap a man with a child if a man doesn't like you he doesn't like you if he doesn't love you he doesn't love you and no baby will make him love you or make him stay in that relationship he will still cheat he will still leave you and he won't provide for that kid so have the discernment, ask God for wisdom when you're in that relationship so that you can know if you have a future with him or you do not have a future with him. I believe in a whole family because personally, like maybe it could be trauma because I was raised by my mom. My father wasn't around, even if they were married, they separated when I was, I think in my teen years, I think around uh, 13, my mom and dad separated. But Throughout my years, I've come to realize that I needed a father figure. And the reason to why I will not bend my standards, I will not give in, in the patriarchy and the society to go ahead and have a baby when I am not ready and I haven't found a partner that I want to share my life with. I believe in a whole family. I'm traditional. If we are not married. I'm not getting pregnant. I will not have a baby before I get married. And I stand by that. And if it's going to take me years and years, I will wait because I will not bend it. Because I believe the traumas that I've had, that I don't want to give my child that. I, my baby deserves a father and a mother. And also, I will not engage into a toxic relationship for the sake of the same, same thing of a family. So, I am very cautious personally with my life right now. I date very intentionally. I will not engage in any toxic relationship. I will not my, let myself be unhappy in a relationship so that that relationship can go into marriage and then I end up being unhappy. No, that's not for me. And also, right now I can see that, you know, the patriarchy like really, really have made women realize that when it comes to your career, that your career is not that important rather than having a baby or being married. No, right now, most like in the whole world, we, women have woken up. They will not engage in these low standards relationship whereby a woman is only supposed to have a baby the sole reason for being in this world is to make babies and keep a family and cater to a man in which i am still traditional and i believe in catering for my family but i have to be happy toxic relationship if i can see from afar in this relationship it's not going anywhere you are not a provider why would i want to get into a relationship whereby it's leading to marriage with a man who is not a provider, meaning I'll be the one to work myself out so that we can uh, we can put our family together. No, even in the old days, a man was supposed to be a provider. And I stand by that. If a man is not a provider while you're dating, please do not get pregnant and do not even see a future with that man. Because like literally there's so many broken families out here whereby you, i find women working two jobs he has she has a nine to five and at the end of the day he has she has also some things going on but the man the man literally is jobless and you want to tell me that is what the society wants you to get just in just so that i can have a say by saying i have a man in the house he's not a provider i'm the one who's this school fees this feeding and right now with the inflation you want to tell me like you will settle down with a man who's not a provider and then you'll be the one who will be paying for that rent paying for food school fees and there are these insurance for the health for the kids and everything you will get overwhelmed same same society is telling you that if a man does not have everything together you should split bills 
their 50 50 mindset please kindly go back and watch my 50 50 mindset video that i made last week i don't believe in that because it takes a lot when it comes to a woman submitting and having a family with you and you not providing fully for that woman you expect how like a woman raising a kid is very and i've come to realize that uh it's very very hard like right now i myself i'm raising myself to be the woman that i want to be assuming i bring a child in this world i want my child to have everything that i didn't have as a kid my mom struggled a lot with us and that is like i said it's some type of trauma i don't want to go through that again that's why i will not associate myself in the baby mama kind of life just for the sake of telling the society at least i have a kid if i don't have a husband or at least i have a husband who is toxic and not providing just for the sake of saying i have a man and i'm not being a feminist and i don't believe in feminism to some extent yes i believe as human beings we have equal rights but when it comes to providing that what a man can do a woman can do better uh -uh, to some extent i don't believe in that because i believe being a woman and submitting to a man yes i am traditional i believe in that and nothing will change my mind even the toxic femininity out here it will never make me bend my my own standards when it comes to being in a relationship i believe as the man is the head of the family and the man is the one who's supposed to provide that is one let's go back when you're in your 30s they also come to you and tell you that your maybe when you your standards are too high and you should lower them so that you can meet a man at your level no do not accept that do not let the society dictate your life because if you lower your standards you will come to regret later because i believe if a man really really likes you he will chase you he will provide for you and he will show you that he really really likes you days are gone whereby men used to do anything to get a girl's attention but nowadays they barely can even text you back they barely can even send you flowers they barely can even send you to a proper date and you want me to bend my rules because the society is telling me i'm getting too old to not be in a relationship that is leading to marriage and leading to having a baby then let me be i have succumbed to the circumstances whereby if my standards are too high for you you're not the one for me and i have the discernment right now i wish in my early 20s someone told me that raise your standards and know your worth as a woman you're a dime you're the price and you shouldn't chase no man right now most women you'll find them chasing a man because sometimes because these men out here they are not providers they want the 50 50 kind of they have the 50 50 kind of mindset whereby if we go on a date we can split the bill you can pay for the cab and don't be asking me for money whenever you want no don't do not bend your, do not compromise do not compromise young girls even if you're in your 30s, do not compromise your standards because the society is telling you that your bi biological clock is ticking. That you should have kids even if you don't have a, you're not seeing a future with that man. Just go ahead and have a child. You will come to regret later after giving birth, that man will go ahead and cheat on you. That man will stop providing for you and then you will have to work two jobs to provide for that child a child is supposed to be raised by two parents that have sat down and have like planned to have a child i believe in planned pregnancies like 
I, I will keep on saying I'm traditional and I will not engage in any kind of these toxic relationships whereby just for the sake of the society and your biological clock ticking that you'll just have to bend your standards for you to be seen in the society as a woman another thing peer pressure all my peers like right now like i said i'm almost in my 30s peer pressure peer pressure and not only that relatives pressure hmm? everybody is asking you why don't you have a child why are you not married yet when in real sense they do not like you have to understand people out here go through a lot sometimes maybe you have trauma from your last relationship whereby you're trying to heal from it and you do not want to engage in this toxic re rebounds whereby when you, you're from one relationship to another just so that it's like you're piling up your traumas from your from your past relationship you're piling up trauma from your childhood experiences but now peer pressure is telling you because all your peers are uh, they have kids actually most of them they are not even married they have kids they will ask you at least have one child one person had the audacity to tell me why don't you have a child like marriage is not everything like go find someone who can give you a child and raise your child again i am family oriented i will not be a baby mama no matter how old i get even if i get to my th to 35 without being married i'm not having a kid unless shit happens in which my god knows my desires he knows my desires to have a full family and that i will not bend my rules and i will not compromise when it comes to having a full family please let's go back to the old days whereby we believe in family like a whole family this baby mama when it comes to social media and trying to keep up with the jonenses will not get you anywhere you'll just have a miserable life you'll just be unhappy in a toxic relationship and you'll end up you're just piling up trauma trauma after trauma and for what just because the society can say you have at least you have a child or at, at least you have marriages and i know the divorce rate is high that's why us young ladies please select accordingly when it comes to your life take your time do not compromise your standards for the sake of the society peer pressure it it passes from through here to here not even my mom will tell me how to dictate my life this is my life i will choose how i live it i've done enough mistakes from my 20s and right now i am i'm a firm believer in healing my past traumas healing my relationship traumas and being the woman that i want to be my dream woman i want to be a wife before i become a mother a wife before i become a mother so this patriarchy telling you that you're supposed to be just get married for the sake of it i'm not up to it so, so society will not dictate my life that's all i have for today and uh if you've watched up to here guys thank you so so much and uh please hit that subscribe button and like button and see you in my next video Bye.